The Newell Irrigators girls basketball team just completed another season, and to talk about it is their head coach, Scott Wentz. Oh, well, welcome back to our school. Um, we finished 7 and 13 this year, maybe a game or two earlier than we wanted to. Um, I had a good time with a group of girls this year, had good leadership from my upperclassmen, had some very young girls come in and join us and do good things for us. They listen, they look at you when you're trying to explain things, and they gave us their best effort all the time. So I had a good time with them. I was very pleased with our efforts. You know, we struggled a little bit this year with consistency. We put together, you know, two, three good quarters of basketball and then we struggle here and there. So that's what we worked on all year. And I think we got better as the season went on. With that, we just played some good competition. And, and as most coaches at this time of the year, uh, most of us are, have our stuff turned in. So that's kind of how it goes. It was probably one of the, uh, the seasons I had the most fun with the girls. Um, I think they legitimately bought in and um, and gave us what they had to offer the whole time. Um, practices, I, I enjoyed the practices just as much as the games. And just a kind of a kudos to our parents and kids. You know, we had practice a lot in the mornings at six and by 5.30 in the morning, we had probably 80% of our girls at practice ready to go. So um, I have to compliment our, our bat girls basketball environment here because not a lot of times you see at six in the morning, everybody waiting around ready for practice to start. So um, those were fun times. Our bus rides were fun. Um, and I'm just, I, I was very pleased with the group of kids I had this year. You know, we were led this year by our three seniors, Kim Johnson, uh, Mary Mayhaffey, and, and Rachel Irk. All three were starters, uh, very, very good leaders. Um, Rachel led us on the defensive side. You know, we put her, tried to put her on the ball. Or when we go a box one or triangle and two, she was always our go-to defensively. Um, Kim was our, uh, our our post this year, and you know she. I think I talked about her. Or she was a KOT athlete of the week, where she always came in early. She always stayed late, got in some shots, and I don't know if the season turned out like the seniors expected it to, uh, but I think in the long run you will see that they turned out to be really good kids and young adults and are going to be successful um, with what they plan on doing in the future. I mean, sometimes we get wrapped around um, the, the winning in sports and trying to find the easy way to have success. And sometimes that always will not be beneficial for you. So I think in the long run, um, these young ladies will be uh, very successful in whatever they plan on doing. So I, we will miss, and the younger girls will miss our seniors. Coach, I understand you're retiring, so this would be your last year coaching girls basketball. Yep, I'll re be retiring from teaching as well. Um, so I, I started here in 1993 as a student teacher under Connie Humble, and then 99 I went to Whitewood in the, Sturge, in the Mead School District uh, for a few years, four years, and then um, spent two years or f 14 months in Iraq and then came back here in 2005. So I've been here since then. Um, so it's time for a change. I, I retired from the uh, South Dakota National Guard in 2007, and it was the right time for that, and I believe it's the right time to retire from, from teaching. have no clue what I'm going to do yet, um, but uh, there's lots of jobs out there, so we'll see what, see what uh, shows up. You've seen a lot of pretty good basketball teams over the years. Yeah, and I've enjoyed it. I, you know, being a coach is a little different than being a teacher. Because most of the time, all those athletes want to be there. So you get to see a different kid than the teacher does in the classroom. Um, these are the kids that are getting up at 5 o'clock in the morning, getting to practice. They're on the buses at midnight. Um, they're coming in. They're working hard. They're held accountable for more things than just your normal students with uh, eligibility. So I've enjoyed it. I will really miss the kids. I, I know that. But um, I also know that it's time for me to, to, to try something different. And, who knows what that'll be? Maybe I'll be an advisor for somebody. Best wishes, coach. Thank you.